From Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Tisneem Bulbulia. Synalatic CEO John Hillary and Ethos Mid-Market Fund Managing Partner Edward Pitsy join me today to detail the fund's acquisition of Synalytic. Welcome, John. Please may you outline TAS's rebranding as Synalytic Group and fully detail the three business offerings this group will now comprise. Thanks, and thanks for having me, Tizzy. So, um, coming out of the listed space, we obviously needed to do a rebranding of the cluster of companies that we now have. Um, we currently have three businesses in the portfolio. WearCheck is an international um, African and South African play um, in the oil condition and condition monitoring space, which really focuses on predictive and proactive asset management uh, for the mining sector, for industry, for aviation, marine, uh, a, a variety of sectors. Um, and it also has recently acquired uh, an acquisition which places it uh, strongly in the non-destructive testing and reliability solution space. We also have a business called Amos, which is a matrix matched certified reference material producer um, that predominantly focus is, focuses on the mining and agricultural space. Um, it effectively makes sure that the calibration of laboratory equipment and that the various anal analytical techniques are accurate uh, within a variety of laboratories, uh, both in South Africa and in Africa. And our final business is a business called Setpoint Laboratories, which offers a, an, an entire suite of analytical uh, procedures and solutions, uh, predominantly based in both the geochem, which is the mineral sector, as well as in the aqueous sector, uh, so specifying specifically in food and water. And what does Ethos Mid-Market Fund and Synality intend to achieve through this new autonomous structure? Well, I think uh, coming out of the listed space, so obviously it was, it was quite a win to be able to get this cluster of companies separated and on its own. Uh, based on the name and the rebranding, the Synalytic Group, there's a lot of synergy between the three businesses, although we treat them as standalone businesses. Um, I think having Ethos as, as the controlling shareholder and dominant shareholder um, is fantastic for the management team. Uh, they come with a huge pedigree um, and equally have, have the ability and the capital to grow these businesses significantly. So pleasingly for me and for our teams, uh, we have access to, to capital. Uh, we, we have huge growth uh, um, expansion opportunities on, on our horizon, both in the current markets that we serve as well as in new markets that we're wishing to penetrate. Um, and I think with their knowledge and their expertise in the space, it's going to be a fantastic partnership. Could you just outline a little bit the rationale behind Ethos' investment in TAS, especially given that the business units operate in the mining sector, which is currently experiencing a difficult period in South Africa? It's a good question. And undoubtedly, the mining sector is going through some challenging trading conditions right now, specifically in South Africa. However, all of our businesses are actually quite diversified and don't only service the mining sector. So as, as mentioned earlier in, in WearCheck, uh, we're in a variety of different industries. Anything that has machinery or equipment uh, where it, it, it can be, uh, where it has oil or fuel throwing, uh, flowing through it, um, we, we tend to service and, 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 and supply predictive maintenance solutions to that industry. Likewise, in our AMIS business, we are busy diversifying away from the mineral concentration that we had in the past um, into sectors such as agriculture, industrial, um, coal, etc. And with Setpoint Laboratories, although we have been dominant in the mining sector in the, in, in, in the previous five years, our focus is certainly to, to move that business now and redirect that business more into the aqueous space, uh, into the microbiology space, which serves many, many sectors, many, many industries apart from mining. I think in addition to that, it's important to note that sometimes the stickiness of the business actually comes during tough times. So when, when mining sector is under, under pressure, uh, those miners and mining houses would like their equipment to last longer, which makes our business, our oil condition monitoring business and our condition maintenance business uh, much more prevalent and relevant uh, for, those, for those miners so that we continue to prolong the use of that equipment. In good times, um, you, you generally see CapEx budgets improving 
and, and that in itself then generates more work for us. So we have a, a nice natural hedge in some of our businesses, despite the difficulties being incurred in the mining sector right now. Is there anything else you'd like to highlight that you'd like our viewers to be aware of? I think it's just a very exciting space. It's nice to be uh, partnered with, with Ethos uh, and the Mid-Market Fund. I think uh, the management teams have certainly started to settle well in the last couple of months under, under the new management and new shareholding. Uh, I also think that technology is something that we need to embrace. Uh, we certainly are not shying away from technology and we believe that that can be a huge value uh, adder to our business portfolio uh, as opposed to a risk. So I think that's some, a space to watch. Uh, that's uh, certainly an area that we want to focus on in the next year or so. Could you please provide an overview of Ethos Mid-Market Fund's acquisition of Torre Analytical Services? Hi, Tasneem. Thanks for having us. Um, I think the testing and inspection and certification sector, which is where the assets which we acquired play in, is a sector in which we've, uh, we've retained a higher interest in. And at a, on a global basis, private equity has done fantastically well in this sector. So when the opportunity came up to acquire these three businesses, we mobilized our resources to try and position ourselves to get the transaction completed in an expeditious manner. Um, and as Ethos, we've done, we've participated in a couple of uh, take privates. So there's a, there was an inbuilt skill um, and a know-how in terms about how we go about navigating the complexity which that it, which it normally presents. Um, and we're also fortunate to partner with another investor who was interested in the other nine divisions on tour, um, in the in the tour stable, and that facilitated a, um, a, a very well managed separation process. What are the benefits the autonomous structure of EMLF and Synalytic will provide? So the assets are now standalone. Um, they're focused. They are now three of three divisions instead of three of 12 divisions. And what we've brought on board is a uh, real know-how and deep expertise, either in terms of the people which we've um, uh, introduced into the business from a chairman perspective or from an industrialist, non-executive director perspective. And what we've done is really bring about global smarts um, in making sure that these assets, which are well-positioned, market-leading, uh, but we want to entrench them further. And I think the benefit will be focus. The benefit will be from a capital allocation perspective. Uh, we've warehoused some capital in order to facilitate an M&A program as well into these assets. So, so I think the tagline there is a real focus. And given that Ethos is majority owned and managed by black individuals, yeah. does it have any plans in place to enhance this across the new business units? No, 100%. So I think John may have covered it in one of the earlier questions as well. Um, but as a, as a, as a black-owned, black-managed, black-majority-managed uh, business, um, we really look to drive the transformation story. But what we found was actually a, a business which had very strong pillars from a transformation perspective. So the businesses were always around a level three, level two perspective from a rating perspective, and we'll look to retain that level and enhance it as we go throughout the period. So there will be additional benefits from the business as we go through our ownership phase. Is there anything else you'd like to add that you'd like our viewers to be aware of? Um, Ethos is open for business. Um, we've got a fantastic track record and we continually look into partner with entrepreneurs and other business owners across various sectors. That was John Hillary and Edward Pitsy outlining Ethos Mid-Market Fund's investment into Synalytics.